you like what come out here, and when you do, uh, you won't be able to tell what's what, okay? So just make sure that you take a picture of this. this time. All right, guys, happy, happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all are doing well, guys. This is Paula DMW's favorite realtor, and today is orientation day. We got this one right in the the 250s, 260s. I forget, this community is now finished. They have only a few homes left. Here's her entry. And on this hallway, she's gonna have two bedrooms. Great size bedrooms, one in the front. Great window, great walk-in closet. All right, we're doing the orientation. So the builder's explaining how the home operates. All right, they got a really clean, really good to go. Uh, she's scheduled to take possession actually tomorrow. Okay. Scheduled to take possession tomorrow. Another great walk-in closet. Here's the first bath. This 250s, 270s. I can't remember. 250s, 260s, I think. Here's her dining. Oh, I'm sorry, living, dining, eating, kitchen. Great floor plan. It's not a first rodeo. She's been a homeowner before. Some quartz countertops. I know whenever you get new construction, you're going to have the microwave, oven, dishwasher. We have a great patio. Got those blinds on. Here is the backyard. It's kind of muddy back there, but a really great, awesome backyard. I'm not gonna go back there. But you see the back though, it's 100% brick. It's awesome covered patio. Owner's retreat is here. Sweet. Big garden shower. Separate place for the toilet. And a great walk in closet. There's the owner's retreat. New, new, new. Nothing like new. All right, it's been a Build process full of delays. She's persevered like a champ. She's had to uh, renew her lease, her living arrangements. It's been a big inconvenience, but we're now at the end of the journey. She had her last lease ending in March 31st, so we're gonna make it, and she could not be happier. This is very important. Okay? We need to go to the other side. Basically, your utility room here, we'll start here and we'll just kind of work our way around the house. Okay. 
Um, what I'll do is tell people is take a picture of this before you go and get a washer and dryer just to make sure you get the right plug because the plugs are really expensive these days. Mm -hmm. um, if you get the wrong one, it'll be 80, 90 bucks. Okay. For some reason you have one already and it's not the same, they do make a little adapter. Okay. So you don't have to buy that big plug. You can actually get an adapter. It's like 20 bucks. Okay. Okay. They're not going to tell you that. They'd rather sell you that $100 cord, mm -hmm. but ask them for an adapter if it's not the same one. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> And this is programmable. Push this button, put a four digit code in there, and push the button. When you hear that, then you know your code's in there. So you don't have to use your key, you can actually use this. this okay. Smart one. Smart. Just push that button, push your four digits, hit that, and it resets it to whatever code you want. Yeah. Orientation day with the builder guys. I don't have a lot of juice and I'm unable to go live oftentimes in this uh, county. Uh, new construction communities uh, often are limited with the uh, power, so I'm gonna uh, kind of preserve this. You can actually turn your porch light on and off when you're not here. Okay. So it makes some of that things around. Okay. Basically, it's kind of a safety. So like one night you turn it off, one night you turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. Somebody would actually think you're home whether you wasn't home or not. Okay. Uh, the main, most important thing in this house that I tell everybody is these walls. Mm -hmm. These are these are water-based paint walls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The worst thing you can do to this wall is get anything wet and wipe on them. Okay, the reason why is because you're going to take the paint off, then you'll get into the texture. Mm -hmm. Once you get into the texture, after you paint it, you'll always see it, even though it's painted. So always paint over it, okay? Mm -hmm. Never touch any of these walls that, with anything wet. That's the worst thing you could do. This is enamel-based. Mm -hmm. All your closets, all your baseboards, and all of, everything in your closets are enamel-based. You can wipe those down with something wet if you won't have any issues with that okay. just not on these walls okay mm -hmm. um, your screens so basically this right here you, you, <clears throat> these are how your windows lock if this window is that far over it's locked okay you'll never get it open so open this up raise this up just a little bit you take these two handles pull it out your screens are actually put in from the inside and they're taken out from the inside okay okay they will not come out from the from outside. You'll damage them if you try. Okay. Okay. Nice big closet. But like I said, anything in here you can wipe on. Uh, we know your clothes are going to touch it. Things like that. Uh, so you don't have any issues. Okay. Same thing in here. Uh, all of your rooms will have a smoke detector. And the smoke detector is a gas detector also, but it's just the same thing. Okay. For some reason, it, it detects gas or it detects smoke. It's gonna go off. Mm -hmm. After it goes off for so many seconds, it's gonna chain react and it's gonna go off throughout the entire house. Oh, okay. okay, so you'll know. Uh, and trust me, you will know when they go <laughs> off. Don't have any issues with that, okay? okay. Um, and here, this, this right here, is a push and pull. If you pull this out, it shuts the water off, okay? okay? So for some reason you flush this toilet and the water starts coming up and you think it's about to overflow, all you have to do is pull that out. Okay. For some reason somebody hit this, broke it off, it cracked or anything and you want to stop the water, just pull that out, okay? okay. All right. Uh, GFCI plugs, um, anything within six feet of water, anything of that nature like that, um, is a GFCI plug, is what's a ground fault indicator. So basically what that means is, if it's not working, uh -huh. um, it's very easy to trip. Say your kids were in here playing around like we did back in the day and we stuck something in there. Uh -huh. It would shock the heck out of us back then. Uh -huh. Nowadays it'll trip this so it won't hurt the kid, okay? Uh -huh. So if you were in here um, to where the water, you had water in here and you dropped a blow dryer in here, it's gonna trip it before it actually hurts somebody. Okay. Okay. And just know if that's not working, then I'll show you out in the garage how to get that fixed, okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Uh.
So like I said, anything within six feet of water will be on the GSCI plug, and we'll, we'll go back over there once we uh, go back out there, our screens are out to make sure all that's taken care of, okay? This right here is for your water for your refrigerator. That little red thing on there, mm -hmm. whatever you do, make sure that that's connected and it's connected to the refrigerator before you take that red thing off and push it in. Because what happens is water will shoot out of that. And it'll be all over the floor. So this, so this is like that. This right here, and this is for your refrigerator right now. Okay. And then it hooks to your refrigerator for your water for yeah, your fridge. Just bring you guys a little okay. bit of the... So, with for some reason, you don't have to use the filter on, there on the her new home. So but if you do have... Thanks for watching. Yes. 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 Yes